This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. This is the the Kraken as it has been christened and this is where we've got to be staying tonight so I'll just turn the camera around for you. That's a bonnet, slam panel. There's multiple. Jesus. Multiple cars. So it is a life raft, which is designed for saving lives. It carries six men. It's got a full watertight roof, fully waterproof. So I would have called it the Viking, but oh, it's got a little light on it and everything. A little light beacon. So imagine, guys, if this was out at sea and we were shipwrecked. A little beacon we keep flashing in order to tell passers by that someone is down there. So this is the kind of this is the level of equipment that we've got tonight. So we are not messing about. Oh there Danny. <laughs> oh <laughs> you all right. I'm okay boy. You there bro? Keep hold me a second. I grab that bungee. Yeah. Water's very clean, isn't it? Here. Do you want me to make them or can you make them where you are? I can make them. You probably make them. It does screw together, don't they? Is that going to be strong enough, Dan? What? That, that bungee? Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Yeah. What's it like in there? Fun. Is it very fun? <laughs> it's very fun. Uh, will, you film, will you film me like camera, bro? So Danny's inside. He's getting the oars ready. <coughs> it looks quite snug in there. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. It is that dark. Is even recording? You cannot see a that? thing out there. Show us, show us. So we are inside <laughs> the life raft. God, Dan just fell off. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to manoeuvre, I'm trying to manoeuvre around. <laughs> so we've, we've zipped this up and, and I'll just remind you that this has got a full on roof. It is like a floating tent. <laughs> so it's completely safe from the elements um, to a point. And what we've got here is the underwater drone, I believe. And this bad boy is going to go down to where we believe the cars and the tunnels and the caverns are. Um, so yeah, you're going to see some amazing footage from that, and God knows what we'll find. It's always a mystery. Always a mystery. You're fogging up quite a bit, actually. Yeah. This it's quite foggy. I'm fogging up as well. Um, it's always a mystery when you head down into the depths of the abyss. Um, I filmed some places with this that no cameras have been before, so I've never seen any footage under here. Nevis Flex. It's going to be super interesting to see what we find. Let's get it down there. This is the wire which is used for the underwater drone and I'll explain why you need a wire for underwater drone. Obviously the water and the depth that it can go to blocks out the signal from the controller so it makes a lot of sense having a hard wire if you will to make it more usable and this is the underwater drone in all of its magnificent glow. Bright yellow so you can see it. This is awesome. Are you ready, Dan? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, look at that. It's got some bright lights. This thing is high tech. Controller is connected via Bluetooth, which is good. No cables to mess around with. Uh, the handle is connected. And there you go, you can drop it out. You can see, you can see you now. All right. See you on that. So, there you go. I can kind of be seen. Yeah, I can oh, see Oh, hold you. on. It'd be better if I do this. Uh, better if I uh, turn my light off. No, just do that. That'd be better. Oh, wow. 
Oh, that's really clear. <laughs> I know. 4K. Is that 4K? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Okay. Actually, I'm going to change that. Mm. Right, I do apologise for moving about so much. I just think I'll be better like that when I can feed things out for you. Right then, you tell me what you want me to do. Yeah, and, just uh, open that up, bro, and we're going to set sail. <laughs> Do we need this open or can we close it? Uh, yeah, we can close it. Does this just put it in like that? Yeah, just chuck it in. Yeah, chuck it in like that, bro. This just feels weird. It does feel right. weird. I am now dropping in a 1,400 pound drone. Right, there we go. It's into, into the water. water. You can see it there. It's actually near the raft. Jesus. Um, <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do here, yeah, we're going to click record. Because yeah. we want to record this. We're going to take off the locked thrusters. And now you could hear it then went down. So the now I'm going to send it, start sending it down into the abyss. Right now, hold on, I need to. Uh, I'm going to get this recording just so you can get some volume from it. But yeah. You might not be able to really see me. I just need to get some length from this. Um, we kind of tangled there, Dan. Uh, hold on a second. Let's uh, bring this round here. The only downside to cabling, I, I, I imagine. Go. So we're going to get some length. Uh, the, oh, right. Let's, let's tip it this way. Yeah. And then I'm going to feed that back through there. Right. And then we should be good there to go. There we go, right. So we're going to get some yeah. length off this. I saw oh. something then. Could be anything we're, down we're there. We're on it. We're on it at one metre. Right, I'm going to start taking it down now. Right, I'll start feeding it out. Well, it's taking it, isn't it? It's yeah. taking it, Jesus Christ. Well, we're now at 3.5 metres, 4 metres, 4.5 metres, 5 metres, right, 5.4, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, going down faster than eight. I can. <laughs> <laughs> 9 metres. Uh, 10 metres, it's actually approaching deeper than the car cave. Right. Uh, 11 metres, uh, 12 metres and we have no end in sight so It far. should be about 30 metres deep So we've got a little feed there It's just going forever isn't it? We're still going down, there's still nothing but darkness There should be some cars and some vans somewhere And if, of course if we do see something like that Oh, what's that? It's a bicycle or something Wow It's a bike wheel Right, so we found a bike wheel Oh, this is... So that's like an entrance to a cavern. Yeah, it must be one of them. It's got to be cars somewhere. And vans and stuff. I do know of two transit vans in there. There is definitely two transit vans in there. I'm not sure what, what age transit van. We're definitely in some si some kind of cavern here. Yeah. Right, so I'm guessing it's probably not they're not gonna be here. Let's turn no. this around. Tell you what, I'm going to change it up to high speed. I don't know why we're in low speed. There we go. Oh, wow. That's better. Right, let's go. This is better. We're in high speed now. Right, there's a log there. Let's bypass that. Bypass them branches. It's like flying through a different dimension. It's so <laughs> strange. We've still got a lot. A lot of cabling to go there. Slate, block and slate, let's head this way. Oh, oh wait, 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 what's this? Wow. This is something. Definitely something. Is that something metal? What is it? That's a chassis, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's definitely. Let me let me try and get around the other side of it. Right, if I lock the thrusters, actually, you know what, if I go back and I lock the thrusters, we should be able to, if I lock that like that, we should be able to look around. I don't think we're going to be able to identify what type of vehicle it is. Definitely not. Because God knows how long it's been down there. It's, but we have definitely found a vehicle, guys. What is that? What? Yeah, it's a car. Is that a back light or? No, I think that's more like under the bonnet. Yeah, it is. That's a slow Oh, yeah, panel. yeah, yeah. It is, wow. yeah. That's the engine bay. It is. Where's the engine gone? Hello. Oh, so this is inside of it. That's a car. I'll just try and. Uh... Yeah, the engine's missing. 
Let me, let me back it up a little bit for you. But that's the engine missing. Yeah, that's the engine bed. Let me, let me go around this side a second. That's incredible. I wish you found one. Let me know in the comments, guys, if anyone has ever done anything like this before, or you've found anything underwater that shouldn't necessarily be there. If you've got pictures, even better, email them to me. Super difficult to tell, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, we're getting really clear shots. Well, this is exploring. Yeah, we have found some of the vehicles, guys. That is one of the vans. And divers have been down there and brought the names on it. 2017. But there's multiple. There's actually two transit vans there. There's yeah. one there and one there on top of it. So on that map, there's only two and two cars. So there's a lot more than what's actually on that map. Yeah, what's this here? There's another one here. Something Whoa. else here. That's a bonnet, slam panel. There's multiple. Jesus. Multiple cars. I have completely forgot we're in a boat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's so civilised and com comfortable in here. Right, I'm going to lock the mortars on this. And let's see if we can get a good look at it. Um, where do I chuck it in there and put your depth off? Look at that one. There we go. Oh, you're in the back of the van. Should we head over to the back of the van? Yeah, there could be a body in it. That's a good point. <sighs> wow. Let's go and take a look. GB. You think, guys, how many materials have been in and out of that van over the years? How long it's been there for? Someone, you know, used it for work. We're going right in. We're right in the back of an abandoned transit van. 30 foot down. <laughs> Look at the steering wheel still in it. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Look how warped it is. Let me see if I can get a better look at that. Look how warped the steering wheel is. Wow. Right, I don't feel too comfortable in here like this, so no. I'm gonna get myself out before I get stuck. Let's get out of here. Get out, escape. Right, we're out. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, it's so cool. Look at you can see where the cable is, <laughs> it's ran inside the van. Alright, let's um Right, so one thing I, I wanna one other thing I wanted to do is I wanted I'm gonna start bringing it to the service. I wanted to shoot fireworks down there. I wanted to see what it looked like to shoot a firework down while I've got an underwater drone, so that's what we're going to do right now. That was some great footage, that. That was awesome. There's got to be more down there. Yeah. Got to be. That was amazing. Oh, wow. How cool was that to see that, though? Oh, jeez. I mean, apart from divers, who else has seen that? Nobody. So, I me, mean, Nobody. Cool. That is... That's real. That's proper exploring, that. <laughs> that is once-in-a-lifetime sort of footage, that. We haven't even got wet. I've got, you've, got, you've got to remember that. We aren't wet. We are completely bone dry inside of this, and we are seeing what's down there. The funny thing is, I don't even know whereabouts we are yeah, right exactly. now. <laughs> I we, don't we think we could be far. floating off anywhere. <laughs> I forgot we was in a boat. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, this is fun. So, in case you didn't catch that, we've got those bad boys there, which are fireworks. Right, let's open this up and let's see where we are because I'm one metre below. Right, let's I don't, have a look. I don't know where we are. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't know where we are. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but he's oh, wait, absolutely I know where we are. pissing it down. I can see the raft. Can you? <laughs> yeah, I can see the raft. Oh, is that us? Yeah. We're, we're there. Oh, wow. Let me bring it round here. <laughs> oh, I can hear it. I we're can right hear outside it. The door. <laughs> we're right outside. Oh, I can see it! I can see it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is absolutely hoofing it down out there, guys, so I'm not going to put my camera outside. I don't want to get it wet. In fact, I'll use my phone because it is waterproof. What have, what have we woken up here? Oh, God, did you see that? My camera's picking it up on, on, uh, on the sensor. Holy shit, that is an actual rocket. <laughs> What's it done to the wall? Shit! Holy shit! 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 Oh my god. Where did it go? In the water. There. Oh. <laughs> this is some redneck fishing. <laughs>
Do not. Just make sure you don't go off in here, Dan. Shit, go, 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 go. Where did it, it go? It wasn't even lit. Where did it go? It wasn't lit, boys. Dan, you're lighting them too close. You're, like, you're like panicking too much. Oh my god. It's not lighting properly. Wait, wait, Dan. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's good fun. Okay, let it. Wait, We're wait, wait. We're gonna have the fire brigade out, out here before it's before too long. Hey, hey, if you if you are throwing them over, they'll make sure it goes out. Can we? Can we oh, watch out. What? After that, air it out because it is getting smoky up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool at all. Dan, I keep getting these mad like thoughts in my head, like with you light lighting it and it bouncing off here. What me throwing it? Oh yeah. shit! And then here. it comes back in, and then we're all taking cover. Go. <laughs> Yours, you're, you sit, you're sitting on them, bro. You're literally what, sitting on them, yeah. What? I said, yeah, I swear to God, I heard a voice. Yeah. Like someone was growling, bro. No, no, not someone growling. You sound like someone was talking. Oh. Oh. That one didn't go bang. I'm just gonna stand here. I know it's not gonna blow apart. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it didn't blow it apart. It moved it though. Was it shit? Oh, well, I'm open, I am. Right, um, I'm just going to go in and call out. Okay. Yeah. I, th I personally think, call out, so who's coming in? I don't know, I'll call in me then. Alright, I'll just go in for a minute. So what's happening is I'm quickly filming on my phone because my camera's all put away nice and neatly in this little pouch. Um, Danny was making a horror film video, snap, and genuinely just messing about and he came out and he's genuinely got an EVP on his camera didn't expect it, right next to his camera microphone everyone was outside at the time so they've gone back in to see if they can pick anything up so always when you least expect it and you're not asking for it you seem to get it so is a lesson for all of you if you are ghost hunting don't go in there expecting and asking for it just do your own thing and they will deliver. By the way, we're oh, in filming, bro. Yeah, we're all filming. Absolute classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Keep keep the light on Andrew, guys. I'm just trying to get my torch in my pocket. Try and not squash me, bro. Mike, put your foot in. <laughs> Could you imagine Lee here as well? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would have went that well. <laughs> Lee, I think you made the right choice not coming in. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it seats six people, but not six people in like 20 bags. Yay! 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 And we're in. Feel so weird. We're, we're in. in. We're very squashed, but. <laughs> and that is what being an underground pirate is about. Right. Hey, where's the horse? Right, hold on. Anchor. Grab your paddles. Right. Right, there's the anchor. What's that noise? In the middle of the lagoon. I don't need anything. Here. Floating about everywhere. <laughs> you can actually feel the coldness of the water coming through. Yeah. It's crazy. So, what did you guys see down there? Cars, vans, mermaids, all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> People trying to explode the underwater drone with fireworks. Yeah. Them oh. fireworks were amazing though. I got the sort of end tail of them under the water, all the sparks. Yeah. That was quite cool. I was trying to operate it at the same time as the as the camera, but where are we, Andrew? <laughs> We're heading straight to David Jones' locker. <laughs> 45 degrees, in. nautical left. <laughs> you know, it got to a point where I was, I was on the underwater drone and I was that fixated on it, I completely forgot I was on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so we got a few Guys, hours. Guys, this is crazy. I mean, this is next level stuff for me. we got a few hours of this now. I'm so happy to be doing this sort of stuff. <laughs> Trust me, I love it. <laughs> Do you think you get to sleep on here? No. It's peaceful, I think. I it's, like the noise. It's peaceful, and the noise is nice. And it's pretty legit. But now what? We didn't, <laughs> we didn't even bring a pack of cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what the episode could be about. What what would you do when you're stranded at sea? Fight club. Imagine people. People have been, <laughs> people have been stranded at sea for weeks in one of these. 
how would you pass the time? If they had this at the time of the Titanic, maybe Rose and everybody, well, no, Rose survived, but Jack would have survived as well. That's pretty true, and then there could have been a whole line of um, new dis descendants from yeah. the family. And Titanic. And, and the roll, the, the uh, what was it, the pearl of the sea or the heart of the sea or whatever it Heart was of the ocean. Heart of the ocean would never have been lost. Yeah. And Titanic no, 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 movie it, would never be made. Oh, yeah, no, you're right, because that, that dumb lady threw it at the end. Yeah, she did. Yeah. You know, she probably she probably could have paid for the entire Titanic movie just with that rock alone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, just I think you away. didn't think too much into this, bro. You could feed starving children in Africa with that rock, but no. She's too selfish. She wanted selfish? to throw it away. No. Please let me know in the comment section, guys. How many of you guys would come in here and do this? I mean, I don't Nobody think there's a lot of people who would do it. <laughs> Nobody will. I mean, we I'm wet right now. We're a bit cold. I'm, <laughs> I'm just glad we've got shelter here. I love the fact Andrew keeps panicking. He's <laughs> where we are. <laughs> in case we're going to any sharp rocks. I mean, I'm quite glad we're doing it in this sort of enclosed area because if we did this on like Coniston Water, we'd end up in the middle of nowhere on the other side of Wasdale or somewhere in Keswick. Wait, where's the car, guys? Oh, shit. Well, that's it's... what we're actually planning on doing. We're planning on taking this. <laughs> And see how far down south we can get. So don't forget, we're going to be free flying. All right, do me a favor. Next time we do take this out, can we like cut a hole there for rowing? Because oh, what about the rain? It seals it's pretty small. tight. Just a bit in order. What if there's massive waves and they come underneath and sink it? Oh, just <laughs> don't, right. Don't, wait, don't say stuff like that. Andrew's around. He's, he panics as much as he is. Well, you've got to think real. Turn that. Oh, I like God. to think I'm the sensible one of the group. <laughs> I am going to well, have... You're not the sensible one of the group, you're just the one who panics the most. The Twix. Yeah. <laughs> Twix. Hey, let's have a picnic. Yeah, let's have a... He's having a picnic now. I've got these. Um, oh, it's not reflective, you can't see picnic it. Picnic time. You got um, Twix. It's, it's, a a, it's a Twix, but it's a jive. I like them better than Twixes. The really? caramel's nicer. Um, you get them from Aldi, and I okay. really like them. They're really nice. I have bought me double deckers and some peanut M&M's. Oh, which uh, I will be having a bit of a picnic myself. Very <laughs> shortly. If there's a current though, there's a waterfall. There's no waterfall. There's no waterfall. Oh God! Well, what have we done? We are afloat. <laughs> I can't believe we've done this. I really can't believe we've done this. <laughs> everyone, everyone wanted to see it, didn't they? Well, <laughs> you've asked for it, guys, and you've got it. Why you don't pop the boat with your shoes? Should we take them off? <laughs> Is there anyone alive out there? I can only, we can only see out one section of the boat, that's the worrying part. Oh, I left my huge torch in the fucking... Back there. I've got a bigger torch. You can feel the coldness of the water. I'm seasick already. Really? Yeah. Do you not like boats? I just get seasick. <laughs> oh. I'm alright if, if I feel safe. Right. If I don't feel safe, then I start to get a bit... <laughs> we, we want Master to see. How can we be lost? Oh crap. We're moving quite fast though. We're not going anywhere, we're just spinning around. Um, where about to. What? Right, where. Okay. Where's our end? Oh, where, where's our start point? Where, where, where are we going? Alright, everybody, stop blinding me for a sec. Turn What's that? Well, that's, that's just what I cooked at work. Oh, right. it fell off and hit me on the head. Right, guys, we are moving quite fast here. We don't know if there's a waterfall nearby, but we are panicking a little bit right now because... Okay, can you guys just chill for a sec? <laughs> I know you're all trying to get great footage, but I've also... I'm, not, I'm trying to get these wellies up here. We've also come to realise... Wellies <laughs> falling <laughs> ...that we can't actually steer. What's that over there? Is that an old? Well, the ladder's going to be... Right, I'm sorting these wellies out. I don't know, but... It's like a cavern. <laughs> Guys, you cannot see a lot right now, but I do... Right, I'm going to try and sail over there. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Alright, you guys need to stop moving. Just for a sec. That's where we need to be. So. Did anyone bring an anchor? No. What do we need an anchor for? Just so that we can stay still in the middle of the lagoon. I didn't think about that. <laughs> floating around, don't I? It's actually quite warm in here. Yeah, it's quite nice. I suppose it's, it's, it's got that in mind, isn't it? With it's and the good thing is, if it starts going down slightly, we can pump it up while we're in the boat. Yeah, you've brought the thing with you. 
Good idea. What do you Dan. mean, Dan? Going down slightly? Like if it, you know, we, we we snag something and pop the boat. Yeah. And we start going down. And <laughs> just starts panicking. <laughs> we can blow it up at least. I'll be real with you. We're not really going anywhere. Where we're headed, Danny? No, um, that way. Yeah, over there. To, to the to your left. You work. Where are we going, boys? That way. To your right, Danny. Will we make it back? That <laughs> is the question. Is anybody else a bit cold? Yeah. Yeah, it's freezing. Oh, I've left my big jacket over there as well. We'll be there in five, ten minutes. Where's that infant? It's dead ahead. We're going there. That? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, straight across. Straight across. Perfect. What would happen if you left one of them in the water? Nothing actually, I found one in the car cave that had been there for a year that we left. Oh really? When I was down on the bottom of the it, car cave. What, still illuminated? No, no, but it was uh, just sat there. And again. Awesome, this thing. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Probably one of the best things we've bought in a long time. Mm. Your arm's not aching, bro. I'm alright, just take it smooth. Let the water do most of the work. Yeah, it feels a bit weird. Wait, grab it or? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> or. Alright. So, all right. first things first. Put that in your lap, is that alright? <laughs> Let's, uh. Well, he's fiddling in this bag anyway. Yeah, I've got to get a battery with him. It's about five or six hours to go until daybreak. And it is absolutely free. Uh, the bottom, the bottom um, of the boat is actually quite numbing. Um, I don't know if we're going to last all night. It's too cold. Yeah, it's too cold, man. It really is too cold. Not to mention the fact that we haven't got an anchor and we could end up anywhere. And there's no there's no shame in going. We did something that nobody else on YouTube has done. We've been here quite a while. Yeah, we've been here hour. We've been here like six hours now. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's been a good test of protecting oh, yeah. all the actual living. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's sturdy. Look, we're still messing around, bouncing around in it. What's up? Okay. I just makes me uncomfortable when people move around. I was uncomfortable when my lens is steaming. Well, <laughs> <laughs> That's how cold it is, blow my lens is steaming, I'm having to wipe it. <laughs> Don't be sick. Absolutely freezing. Certainly get seasick. Really? Yeah, can we wrap this up and just sail back? <laughs> you wanna go now? Yeah. I am I am prone to seasick because you saw me yeah. in Paris Catacombs. Yeah. It is pretty late in it and it's freezing. I don't think we're gonna last all the morning, I'm gonna be honest. Right, okay. I mean it's raining, it's cold. Let's head home, boys. Yeah. Right, right. Leave a comment below. Do you want to see us come back here, or do you want to see us do more stuff with this this boat? If I see a ton of likes and comments, obviously I know you want us to do more, and we will do more. And I will definitely bounce around more, <laughs> just for Andrew's pleasure. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Same goes for you guys. Good night. God bless. I'm going home. Peace out. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in pinned comment down below. Go ahead and check it out. Go get it. I even got myself some, and I never get my own merch. That is how proud I am of this. All right, so we'll stop pumping now. Yeah.